Hey guys, Deanna here. I'm super excited today to film my first ever Louis Vuitton haul. I went for my birthday with my husband and picked up a couple of things after doing weeks and weeks of YouTube um, research on Louis Vuitton. I tried to narrow everything down and then I went in ahead of time too to just kind of look at the bags that I was thinking about getting and I totally changed my mind. Um, it really does make a difference to go in person and see the bags um, for yourself. I am very excited to film this haul for you guys and just wanted to say a quick thanks to everyone on YouTube that does these videos. They were so influential and a huge help when I was deciding on what I wanted to get. So I hope that this video can do the same for someone else. And I hope you guys enjoy my very first Louis Vuitton purchase. And here is my bag from Louis Vuitton. You can see my big box. And a little preview of what's inside. I've got three things that I'll be showing you today that I got for my first Louis Vuitton purchase. So first let me just show you the receipt that comes in this little folder, Louis Vuitton right on the front. And in here it has two items. Um, first is just the sales associate that I had. And this is how the receipt comes. It's like a tri-fold, as you can see. And this is my Louis Vuitton. It's the Natick collection in Massachusetts. And on the inside, it just, I'm not going to show you the bottom because it's personal, but um, so here is all the details, the three items that I got. Um, shows my receipt number, the total for everything, tax, the day I got it, and everything. So they print it out. It's really nice. I really like how they do this with the receipts. And they just fold it right back up and fits nicely right back in there. So the first item right here that I got came in this little box. It has a um, leather cord here for the detail on the outside and it opens just like a drawer. And it comes in the little dust bag right here. It says Louis Vuitton. And I got the key clay. It's called the key pouch also. Um, in the monogram canvas. Let me take out the little ring and show you. I wanted something that could hold my license or credit card on the go, um, but also hold my keys. I decided to go with the monogram um, just because I think it's classic Louis Vuitton and I wanted to have a piece um, for my first Louis Vuitton purchase. I thought it would be nice to have something with the classic monogram canvas. Even though the Damier Ben is technically the first Louis Vuitton print. Um, so it's the Louis Vuitton, the LV monogram canvas on both sides. The zipper right here is the gold hardware. Um, the zipper detail right here has a little LV, which is really nice. And if you know about Louis Vuitton, the zippers just glide along. I love that sound. So um, what's great about this is you have the little key hook, the little hook on here, and the little chain, which is pretty. And the detail has LV right there. And something to keep in mind about this key ring is you really have to, you can't just kind of snap it on and off. See, it's not moving. You have to pull up and out, and that's how you get it open. So it really helps secure that onto your bag. So it is the canvas on the outside, the coated canvas, and the inside is the leather. It's really nicely coated and soft. And it says Louis Vuitton Paris right there. And inside, you can't really see it very well, but it does say made in France. You can put this in here. And it does zip up really well. You won't see anything there. 
So just about it real quick is 2.8 inches high and 4.7 inches long. So it really is a good size. It's great for just running in and out of the car. It attaches to the D-ring in your purse. Um, I'm really excited to have this piece as one of my first Louis Vuitton pieces. So the next item that I got was the uh, Zippy Compact Wallet, which comes in this really beautiful box just like this. Um, they're really sturdy boxes, which is what I love about them. And it has this little leather strap like you would pull out a drawer. You see that? This is the dust bag that it comes in. Open the flap. And I got it in the Damier Abin print. What I love about this wallet is the fact that it's compact. I can fit it in the Eva clutch if I want. I can throw it in my um, handbag and it doesn't take up too much space. I was really looking for a wallet that was compact but had a lot of really beautiful detail. So just for the basics, it's... Um, 6.3 inches long and 3.9 inches in height. So it says it's compact, but I mean it's really, it's a good size wallet. It's, it's not like the coin purse size or anything. Um, it has the gold hardware right here in the zipper. And what I love about this zipper is the fact that it starts out small and kind of bevels out and gets thicker. And this is the gold brass hardware. And right on this side here it does say Louis Vuitton. And like I mentioned the zipper is just gorgeous on this wallet. When you open it up it has the leather interior um, and on the outside is the coated canvas, just to mention. I did get mine hot stamped with my initial D, um, that's for Deanna. And right here, as you can see, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, and this was made in France. So I love that it has this little detail right here that says that in a different color, so it's really visible. Um, with this wallet, it has 10 credit card slots, so five on each side four pockets here for like receipts or coupons, bills, whatever. A little zippy pouch here for coins. And right on this it even says the little LV, which is super cute. I love that little detail. And one big pouch in the back for bills. Um, some This is also just a little pouch you could put um, an ID card or something like that. But I love that it opens up really wide. It just makes everything really accessible. So that is the Zippy Compact Wallet. Okay, and last but not least, we have the big purchase of the day, which was my first Louis Vuitton handbag. Um, it came in this really beautiful brown box, like the other Louis Vuitton pieces that I got, along with the leather um, strap. So let me just take that off and show you. And this box lifts right off. Let me just set that out of the way. And it comes in the big dust bag. And I love this one because it has a drawstring. And I've seen um, some of them have it this way, some of them flap, so I'm excited to have the drawstring. And this is my Evora MM in the Damier Abin print. Um, I chose this bag because I wanted something that I could use every day um, that had a lot of room, but uh, I had looked at the Neverfull and I decided that for my first Louis Vuitton I wanted something with a little bit more detail. So I chose the Evora and I'll tell you a little bit about 
what I love about this bag just initially. Um, I just got it so I haven't used it, but I love the detail on the front. The pleating in the front here is so feminine and beautiful and just the shape of the bag. It's kind of rigid right now just because it's right out of the box, but over time this area here will kind of bend in and become really smooth and buttery. Um, what I also really love is the leather detailing on this bag. Right here it says Louis Vuitton Paris and this is all a leather tag so I really love that it says that right on the front along with you know with the Damier bin you always get that right there but I just love that I had it in a little leather detail I thought it was really pretty um, and also that the leather outlined the zipper on the front um, and instead of just the plain zipper like I have up here uh, this one has a strap that's leather so I really love this it's easy to grab and pull um, and I just think it adds a little something to the bag but so this is the um, gold brass hardware that's on the whole bag and even this little zipper says Louis Vuitton it just says Louis Vuitton everywhere which I really love so you can hold this bag in a bunch of different ways. As you can see, there's the straps, um, the handles right here. You can hold it just like this. You can put it on the crook of your arm, which is near your elbow. Um, if you want, you could put this on your shoulder if it fits you there, um, that's fine. But there's a detachable shoulder strap as well, which attaches right up here on the side. Also says Louis Vuitton here and it swivels so it's really flexible and if you decide you just want to use the handles one day it's very easy to take the strap right off but I like to keep it on even if I'm not planning on using it just because I think it adds a really beautiful um, detail to the front of the bag so it has five different holes here five different settings so you can adjust that accordingly and it is a really nice leather strap the same as on the handle. So let's get a little bit into the dimensions real quick. Um, it is 17.3 inches tall and also 17.3 inches um, in width here. And then the bag on the depth or depending on Louis Vuitton they use width and depth differently in their description but this area right here is 3.9 inches so it does hold quite a lot also while I'm here I'll just show you real quick this leather patchwork pleating that's right here it's so beautiful that detail is amazing so onto the back you also have the pleating just like on the front the two pleats and this comes down here in the leather detail just like it does in the front. It looks the same, it's a mirror image, except that there's no pocket. So it really does give you that effect on both sides with the pleating, which is really nice. And then you have the leather trimmings coming all the way up the side and on the bottom, which is really, really beautiful. So let's get inside. Let me show you the pocket actually first. It's the red microfiber lining that you would expect from the Damiella bin. And you can see I can get my hand down in there quite a bit. And if you know about Louis Vuitton, you know all about how gorgeous these zippers are and how smooth they glide. So inside is that red microfiber. You have the Louis Vuitton Paris. And then this is the double patch pockets on the interior. Um, you probably could fit your cell phone in there. Um, I don't know if the wallet would be something you'd want to put. You can see for reference. You could, if you wanted to, fit the zippy compact in there. And the tag, which lets me know it's made in the USA. Um, they just started doing these tags for all the bags that are made in the USA instead of putting it um, underneath, they put it there now, and then the D-ring, which you can hook your um, key pouch or key clay to, or your wallet if you have 
a strap on your wallet. Um, and then over on this side is the date code. They keep it in the little leather strap. So it does hold quite a bit. You can see I'm up to my elbow. If you guys want to see how much I can fit in here or just a better review overall of this bag, let me know in the comments and I will make sure to do that for you.